guys, Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's DIY is going to be a paint resist technique. I'm going to have Zeb put the link below of how he added all the molding to this dresser because we're going to be turning it into an apothecary style dresser. He's got a video on his channel to show you how to add that. And I'm going to show you how to get the great chippy layered paint finish. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my good old can of gel stain. It's pretty crusty. I've used it a lot. It's general finishes in Java and my foam brush. And I'm just going to take this gel stain and I'm going to go all along all the edges and everywhere that I'm going to be distressing so that way when I distress I've got a dark undertone instead of this light wood because the light wood won't pop as much. I'm going to go around all the edges of the whole dresser and all the drawers and woodwork and then we'll get to our next step. Our gel stain is all dry. It took a couple hours. It's super hot outside. It can take up to six or eight hours to dry depending on temperature and humidity conditions. The next step that I'm going to be doing is adding in my paint. You can use any colors that you want. I recommend using at least two, maybe even three different colors so you can get a really layered effect. We're using Fairy Chalk Mother in Depths and Fairy Chalk Mother in Mint to Be. If you'd like to buy this paint, go to jamierayvintage.com. Fairy Chalk Mother is an awesome paint because it doesn't require any prep. You just clean, paint, and go. So I've got my round zebra brush, and I'm going to go ahead and just randomly paint on my dresser everywhere that I like to have this come through. Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you what the first color looked like done. It's super sporadic. And you want it to not be uniform. You just kind of want to put paint wherever you think you might distress it in the future. So if it looks like it's in a pattern, you're doing it wrong. If it looks like a two-year-old did it, then you're doing it right. Most importantly, you don't want it to be too thick. Just brush it on nice thin coats so that way it's not super gunky when you're done. So step two, I'm going to take my next color, which is meant to be. You could use any color. I like to use things that complement each other, but if you want to go real crazy, you could do red, blue, whatever color is going to match your decor. And you kind of want to just do randomness, but then you also want to overlap in a few spots and just go wherever you feel like going. So I'm going to do this to the whole dresser, and then I will get to our next step, which will be to start the paint resist technique. dry we're ready for our next step I'm gonna be using petroleum jelly if you had it in a tube that would be even better but I don't so I'm using this and my foam brush and I'm just applying this anywhere that I like for this to show through when I put on my final coat it's important to remember not to put it deep down into the cracks because it's hard to get out later when we're all done putting this all over and everywhere we'd like the paint to stay then we're gonna spray it with white paint and distress and we'll show you how to do that We've got our Vaseline all put on here, totally random. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth. If it gets chunky and globby, it'll gum up your sander. So you definitely don't want to do that. Um, and then you can put on as little as much as you want. If you want just along the edges, then just put a little bit. I like it to be totally crazy, chunky, chippy looking. So I put on all over the place. So the next step, you could brush on your final coat or we're going to go ahead and spray on. If you haven't ever sprayed Fairy Chalk Mother paint, go ahead and click the link that Zeb will put in here for our how to spray, spray chalk paint. All the information's in there. And if you want to buy Fairy Chalk Mother, as always, go to jamierayvintage.com and you can get all of our colors. So Zeb's going to spray this with white paint and then I'll show you how to distress and get the blue to come back through. So our dresser is all dry here and we're ready to distress and watch the chippy paint come through. We're going to be using my rotary sander with 150 grit sandpaper on it. You could also use a sanding block or a regular sander. Make sure your sandpaper is no more than 100, like less than 150. If you go to a smaller number sandpaper, it's going to be taking off too much too fast. So 150, 220, that would work.
So I just want to show you, this is a big flake of paint and this is what happens where the Vaseline is. It just chips off in that whole entire area and it just makes it look like, instead of a distressed with a sander, it just makes it look like a piece that naturally chipped over time. All right guys, it is all finished except for knobs and ceiling. You can see that it chipped totally randomly. It looks aged over time as opposed to just a piece where you would sand it with sandpaper and get like random squiggles and stuff. This totally looks like it's been sitting outside. It looks kind of beachy. We're gonna go ahead and seal it with polyacrylic. If you wanna know how to do that, we've got a video on that and Zeb will post the link for you. And then Zeb will go ahead and get our knobs on for us and we'll be all finished and we'll show you some pictures when it's done. I'm going to be installing the drawer pulls and these here are really what give it its look. We get these off of Amazon. I've already got it marked halfway through here and here. So I'm just gonna line up the center of my pool right there, get it pretty close. And then make sure that my screws run an intersecting line through there. And then just drill two little pilot holes. Careful not to go all the way through. Then you screw these in. I'm super in love with our dresser. It turned out chippy and awesome. We turned it into an apothecary style. All the drawers open and work as normal, but they look like they're little card catalogs. And then we used the distressed finish that I showed you with the paint resist technique. It's got layers of paint, some Vaseline, some sealer. It's ready to go. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.